My technique has basically two aspects. One of them is rotation movement and Mulder technique. The inspiration came out of uh, a transcription that I played, uh, Scarlatti Sonata. And then I realized that this is a completely new world for me at the time. So I needed to find a way how to play effortlessly for the maximum technical and musical result. And then the ideas came. I'm practicing most of the time on a pad, simply because uh, I don't want to make a lot of sound at home. <laughs> so let me explain. Uh, rotation meaning this, right, from these two muscles, and then I move around the instrument. It's a single line, so I'm, I'm doing the rotation with the motion of the arm around the instrument. So it's pretty simple. So instead of Whatever we do with two hands, I'm doing it. Uh, important is to control the speed of the rotation, because these movements can be a passage. Or an ornament. And of course, if you, if you play on a B-flat major, uh, you will have a lot of doubles, meaning... And you can do different combinations. Either you're gonna do, you will keep one mallet on black keys and one mallet on white keys. Or you could slide. And Mulder technique, We all know Müller, yeah, it's big motion and then a tip. So if you have two notes, it will be down, tip, preparation for the next movement. If you have pattern of three, one, two, up, one. Two. A conventional way will be a motion per note. With the Müller technique, I can do a throw and a second throw and do many notes. Now, let's split that into two mallet. You will have... Pattern of four. A paradiddle. You have the beginning and the end and the notes in between, which we'll make. The most important question is why to do that? Uh, if you analyze uh, piano music, it's all about uh, scales and uh, arpeggios in different uh, configurations, how the musical line is. Yeah? So by practicing that, you can just apply this motion into a, uh, into a piece of music and then you have a ready phrase.